I'm Joseph. The compost uh, manager. Compost manager. Let me yeah. turn around here because the sun's, <laughs> sun's in my face here. Moi c'est Joseph, compost manager dans le village Santoa. Where, where are we? Uh, we are at Santo Village. We are in Leogan, uh, exactly in Santo Village. Santo Village was a uh, village designed by Architecture for Humanity. Yeah, Habitat for Humanity Builder. Habitat for Humanity. Uh, designed by Architecture for Humanity and built by Habitat for Humanity. This is housing that was built for relocate, to relocate, uh, people who lost their homes in the earthquake. And this, uh, what we're looking at today is a compost site, right? Yeah, looking at the compost center right here. And okay. Joseph Afla is uh, one of the first person that uh, participate, uh, volunteer in the activity, and then uh, he received training. And after a few months, he was uh, one of the best uh, person that showed his interest for the uh, ecological uh, uh, system that we set up here and then we received the knowledge and now he's able to manage all the worker and uh, provide uh, technical and assistance as well. How many homes are, is he managing? Uh, there is uh, 300 rooms uh, in the village. 300 between 300 homes. toilets. 300 toilets. And, uh, but we actually manage uh, 270 200. composting toilets. And how many people? Uh, that is for uh, about uh, 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 at least uh, 1,500 people to 300. 3,000 people. 1,500 to 3,000. Josafa was trained by Lucho. Yeah. Just so we're all clear. <laughs> so this, this pile is uh, sugarcane bagasse yeah. that's being used for cover material, and it's it looks like it's been lying around a while, and it's yeah. kind of... Uh, partially decomposed. Uh, is this self-managed? Uh, the the, 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 uh, the people who have the toilets come and get this on their own? Yes, early in the morning, like this morning. So early in the morning, people come right here yeah. with bucket, carry it. All the buckets here. We let them rest. We let them rest. And they drop the buckets here. Okay. And then when they drop it, they they come here. They take a clean bucket. They take a clean bucket here. I see. A clean bucket and go to the uh, bagasse if they are in need. Okay. Some of the household already have uh, bagasse cover material. Okay. The if they need more, they just take some more. They put it in the in the bucket in the and bucket. transport it back. <laughs> and so when they're setting these buckets, they're just setting them here with lids on them? When did, with when, lids on them. When they're gone, the, the, the team carry them over there. The compost team. Okay, and these are the compost bins, huh? Yeah. Wow, this is nice. It is. Look and at you it. should have seen it two years ago. I mean, this is amazing. It's really... Beautiful. I love the banana trees. Wow. I think we started with three compost bins. Lucho managed all of the. That's reading 140. Construction, is it? 141 Fahrenheit. These bins are just built out of pallets, uh, recycled wooden pallets. And really, there's no, I don't see any flies or anything. Um, or, or, nor do I smell anything. No, it smells great. Somebody was digging in there. Yeah, I like these banana That's a nice touch to have, but basically a banana garden. Give some shade to the compost operator. So this is the fresh pile that they have okay. this morning, but there's a problem with chicken. <laughs> Chicken's getting in. Jump over the fence. Oh, and, uh, scratch it up. <laughs> well covered. It was well covered. I throw a piece of wire over mine because 
for that reason. Of course. Then they can't scratch it. We have it. like a 20 first, 21 pile. We need 21. Well, one. Yeah, well, they, they're not, they're, they're only going to dig in the fresh stuff, though. Yeah, yeah, so you only, need one, fresh, you only need one, you only need one wire. And we're just going to throw a thermometer in this. Definitely cooking. Yeah. What's it say? Up to 150 already. Wow. And rising. Josefa, mm -hmm. how many buckets do you normally dump on a on a day, a regular day? A regular day? For right now, for right now is a hundred. A hundred buckets. It's a, it's, no, a hundred on hundred and some fifty or sixty and okay. some. Okay, that's quite a lot. Mm -hmm. 156 already. Uh, three, two, two, three months ago, uh -huh. we had 200 and some, but for right now, 160 and some. 150, 160. That's a lot. <laughs> One of these bins. Almost 160. Yeah, it's still going up. Still going up. 157 right now. Uh, how long does it take to fill one of these bins? A month. Yeah, like how many? A month. A month. Okay. Wow. So then you have 12 here? There's, no, I think no, we have 16. 16, 16, 16 right here. So uh, one a month for, would you say 1,500 to 3,000 people? Yeah. What do we have uh, over there? Also. You have another one. Uh, and is, is all the food going in? We have more bins than there. Right. Well, uh, I, is food going in here too? And, you know, food scraps and things like that? Or? Some food going down. Some food going in the other one. Okay, this is mostly toilet material yep. here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's topping off about 158. Okay. 158 Fahrenheit. So it's definitely cooking in there. We'll try it in another spot here. And this is a, is that the three foot Rio temp yeah. thermometer. We're looking about 160 on that one. <laughs> These ones are from previous months, is that correct? Going down. Going down, but Start let's see. Uh, yeah, but it's still, still 156. They could not, we did not have money to like, uh, supplies, uh, provide supplies for them to build more beans. So that, that bin was uh, quite shrunk a lot. Oh, okay. And we, 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 we went on top of it. like a waste for us to harvest it, so we just refill it again. Does he know when they stop filling this one? Uh, two, months. Two, months two months ago, okay. Yeah, that one looks like it's. It uh, seems ready. Completely done, because yeah. there's probably no temperature in there. This is totally finished and covered with plant growth. That is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what we. Yeah. This is what we have here. <laughs> this is a give love. Uh, give love pal. It shows the uh, capacity of the bin, the bin ID, the contents, urine, excreta with sugar cane bagasse. Started October 8th, filled in November month later and uh, scheduled to harvest yeah. August of this year 2014 so this is ready to harvest well this this is a really nice uh, way to, to do it here that's, that's that's a good really good system and uh, one thing I'm trying to point out here is see the, the capacity uh, the volume of material in this yeah. looks relatively small compared to the ones we were just looking at over yeah. here, which are filled to the brim, and now they've shrunk down to, to that much. And down in there, underneath all that growth, is very nice compost. So this is uh, this is what compost toilets make instead of sewage and pollution. And uh, the whole. The whole uh, shebang here is in a banana garden, so it actually looks really nice. And uh, 
there's enough compost here to uh, provide a, a basis for quite a uh, agricultural production. Yeah.